pleasure to introduce a man who's been part of our Ray Bradbury tributes, but has also been playing a great role in bringing a whole new dimension to the Planetary Society. Bob Picardo, who is famous before he got to the Planetary Society, but his association with us makes him even more famous. Bob Picardo, <laughs> actor. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you very much. I'm a brave man to come between Lou Friedman and a podium. <laughs> that was a, a wonderful tribute. As, uh, as Lou mentioned, um, about 15 years ago, I was asked to be part of a tribute to Ray Bradbury at the uh, Pasadena Playhouse. It was my very first association with the Planetary Society. Shortly after that, I got a call from Lou and Bruce Mary asking me to become a member of the advisory board, which I have been for the last 15 years. I've made some incredible friendships uh, through the Planetary Society, including our new exec director, Bill Nye. And uh, I'm very proud of my association, especially on a day like today, which is a great, great day for space enthusiasts and, by definition, for the Planetary Society. Um, it is my great pleasure to read two poems written by Ray Bradbury. They have not seen the stars. They have not seen the stars, not one, not one of all the creatures on this world. In all the ages since the sands first touched the wind, not one, not one, no beast of all the beasts has stood on meadowland or plain or hill and known the thrill of looking at those fires. Our soul admires what they, oh, they have never known. Five billion years have flown in turnings of the spheres, but not once in all those years has lion, dog, or bird that sweeps the air looked there, oh, look, looked there, ah, oh, God, the stars. Oh, look there. It is as if all time had never been, nor universe or sun or moon or simple morning light. Those beasts, their tragedy was mute and blind and so remains. Our sight, yes, ours, to know now what we are. But think of it. Then choose, now which? Born to raw earth, inhabiting a scene, and all of it no sooner viewed, erased, as if these miracles had never been. Vast circling of sounding fire and frost, and all when focused, what? As quickly lost? Or us, in fragile flesh, with God's new eyes that lift and comprehend and search the skies, to watch the seasons drifting in the lunar tide, and know the years remembering what's died. And now, very apropos, why Viking Lander? Why the planet Mars? By Ray Bradbury. <clears throat> Why Mars? Why go to find the place? The human race gives answer, finds a pause, and no, not just because it's there. We walk the air from here to planet out beyond because we're more than fond of life and what we are. And what is that, you ask? For answer, go to Shaw. Dear GBS speaks constantly, asks why and what are we? The life force in the universe that longs to see, that would become, and in the art of being, changing, seeing, touching, growing, looms up as beast that knows itself and knows it knows and keeps on knowing. We are the abyss light that comes from Pleiades, the stuff that 
born in dark, thou sees and knows it sees. A mute flesh, lately found and given tongue to sing strange songs that till our time remained unsung. And what the song, the tune, to fashion fires and thus outrace the moon and with our new flame-tossing raw Egyptian chariot cars fly off to land, taste, touch, and know strange Mars. And with the knowledge gained, make lasting yeast to grow men ten ways tall to feast on universe and stars and use as seedbed, station, birthing place this empty Mars. Again, what is this perturbed flesh, dissatisfied, that longs to try and test what none have tried? Why, force and matter changed to thought and will. That thought which dreams of flight in fire to stand us kings on Martian hill. We savior call ourselves from earthly tomb and go to find a better place, a larger room. Mars, but a beginning. Real heaven, our end. That is the power man has to build and send to answer Job's most rank despair and old outcry. Man need not fade and fall and falling die. Why Mars? Why Viking lander on its way? To landfall time, give man's forever's day. Unlock the doors of light your grave, fling wide the portal, give man the gift of stars, grow him immortal. Put down the dark, kill final death, and sweeten man with everlasting breath. Thank you. <laughs>